Hello everyone and welcome to our Dirishify Finance and Operation Module Wise Training Series. So in this new episode we discuss about the short closing and partially received purchase order in Dirishify Finance and Operation. So let me explain you the scenario which we are going to perform in this episode. So in our first scenario our company placed a purchase order for the 10 items to the vendor but the vendor only deliver the 5 items in the first shipment and they also inform us that the remaining 5 items will be sent after a week. However, after 3 days, our company made a decision that we no longer require the remaining 5 items from the vendor. So we will remove this delivery reminder and process with the short closing of the purchase order in our first scenario. In the second scenario, we will place the purchase order for the 10 item. But the vendor only deliver the 5 item in the first shipment and in this case vendor communicated to us and inform us that this will be a final shipment and there is a no further item will be sent from the vendor side. So this will maybe the vendor doesn't have that item in their inventory. So as soon as I receive the first shipment for the 5 item, we will proceed to short close of the purchase order in the product receipt level. And the last and final scenario, we will place a purchase order for the 10 item. The vendor sent a 5 item in the first truck of delivery with the some delivery note. And in the same day, maybe the evening, the second truck arrive with the remaining 5 item with the same delivery note. So here the scenario is that the shipment is done from the vendor side on the same day. So the product receipt number is same sent from the vendor side. But in the DRXT5 when you try to enter the same number for the both shipments system will give you the error that you are entering the duplicate receipt number. So in this scenario I will guide you through the how you can partially receive the product receipt with the same delivery note in the Dirichify system. So make sure you watch the complete episode to understand three scenarios. So let's get started with our system. So first let's create a purchase order for our first scenario. In to create a purchase order, we'll go to procurement and sourcing, all purchase order. So let's create a purchase order. Here I add the item which are going to ship. Change the quantity to 10. And so as I mentioned I have received only 5 quantity which are partially receiving the item. So inside the receive now I have entered only 5. Save this purchase order. Let's again go to confirm. Confirm this purchase order. So our confirmation is done. So here our supplier informed me that he will send only 5 items in the first batch and in the letter he will send 5 items in the next week. So I am pre I'm preparing to receive the first 5 shipments. So in the receive tab I will click on the product receipt. Currently I have not done any re receipt list because it's, there is no inventory effect for the receipt list so I will directly do the GRN. Here I change the order quantity to the receive now quantity. So it's automatically apply the 5 with the receipt number over here as a product receipt. So I received the first 5 quantity shipment. Now I have successfully received the partially quantity in the purchase order but how we know that we have received the partial order because in the purchase order its status is still showing the open order. So the status of that purchase order is changed to receive only when we receive the purchase order for fully quantity. We are currently receiving the 5 quantity so 5 quantity is still pending to receive in the purchase order so that because of this it's showing the open order. So know about the this order is partially received or not we go to the general tab. Inside general tab we have line quantity. In the line quantity we show you the complete summary of the purchase order. So here you can see that order quantity is 10 and the 5 we have received so it's ready for the invoice and the last one is a delivery reminder. It's showing 5 quantity which are pending to receive in the purchase order. So this purchase order line quantity will give you the full summary of this purchase order. So now our company USMF decide that I do not want the remaining quantity of this item because we have the enough stock of this inventory or maybe the sales of the particular product did not really well so demand is not expected. So now we have just informed about our vendor that we did not want the remaining quantity and we are just planning to close this purchase order. So in order to close this purchase order or do the short closing for this purchase order we directly go to the update line inside update line we have delivery reminder option. Inside the delivery reminder is showing 5 items which are pending to the receive. If your company decide to receive a 2 quantity instead of 5 quantity then you can change the quantity over here 
from 5 to 2 so your purchase order will be changed accordingly but in our example we will not updating any quantity we are just not required as all remaining quantity which is 5 so for now we have just close on this cancel quantity button in the bottom so now you can see that our remaining quantity will completely gone which means that our purchase order is fully received so if you go back to our purchase order line so just refresh this purchase order so now you can see that our status of the purchase order is changed from open order to the received order because we have now fully received this purchase order successfully we have also one more option in the purchase order to cancel the quantity with the delivery reminder we just select this line inside select this line we have update line button in the update line button we have delivery reminder button over here this will also performing the same operation which we have performed in the line quantity of the general tab so we have two method one is using the general tab line quantity and update all button and the second one is directly select the line in the purchase order inside update line you can directly cancel the delivery reminder using this cancel quantity so our first scenario is done now let's move to the second scenario where we are cancelling this quantity or short closing the quantity in the GRN level so for this again we click on the new button create quickly create a purchase order again now I add the same item again this time also I'll change the quantity to the same 10 and as I mentioned our vendor sent only 5 items for the first now so I have changed the receive now quantity as a 5 receive now option is done so let's confirm this purchase order so our purchase order confirmed now successfully now I'll just receive this item so I just click on the product received here in the product receive I have changed the order quantity to the receive now quantity so it's showing 5 quantity now but in this case our vendor is communicated to us and that will update that this one is a final shipment which we are receiving now and there is a no further item will be sent from their side so this 5 item they have sent is a final item from their side so in this case we need to close this PO in the product receipt level no need to do it from the delivery reminder here we have the close for receipt button so I just enable this button click copy this product order as a product receipt and click on ok button so here in the product receipt line level we have closed the receipt in the checkbox so now you can see that our status will be changed from open order to the receiver because at the time of doing the product receipt or GRN we will mention that this is a closed purchase product receipt so to do this short closing you need to make sure that you have properly configured the under delivery and over delivery option in the finance and operation otherwise system will give you error that the under delivery and the over delivery setup is not configured or percentage it's showing zero I will show you this configuration in our next video so, so if you get an error of the under delivery then you can refer to my next episode in this purchase order you can also see that we close our receive quantity in the product receive so our status of the purchase order is changed from open order to the received in normal case it's open order but in our case we click on the close for received option so because of this our status is directly received after we post the GRN so let's now discuss about that third scenario where we apply the duplicate product receipt number in the GRN so now let's discuss about the third scenario in the purchase order in this scenario we discuss about the duplicate delivery note number so let's again quickly create again one more new purchase order Can I change the quantity to 10 and as I mentioned previously I have receiving the first 5 quantity in the first shipment and in the next second shipment I am receiving the remaining 5 quantity 
so I'll go to purchase click on the confirm button so in this scenario vendor send this item in the batches so first five item we have received in the first batch and the second batch receive the remaining five maybe later or in the same day so in this scenario we are receiving the item in the multiple shipment in the same day so in the morning we set the five item and in the evening maybe we get the five remaining five item so let's receive this product receive receive now quantity we have receiving first five we have entered the purchase order product receive number so here the product receive number we ending with the 204 and click on ok button now we have performing the op operation for the first five shipment first five item in the shipment so for example now we receive the same item again in the second shipment in the same day so we again go to the product receive this time we select the order quantity it, it's automatically send the quantity to five and enter the product receipt number so as I enter the same product receipt number we send by the vendor here so now I'm getting the warning that we have entered the same product receipt number which we have already used in the first shipment and if I click on the ok and try to receive this quantity for the purchase order then system not allow us to receive this purchase order but in some scenario or in some organization we still want to allow the same delivery note number with for the multiple shipments so in order to do that we need to change this parameter it's parameter driven setup so let's change this parameter in the procurement sourcing parameter set the procurement sourcing parameter under the delivery tab we have option like check for product receipt number so here currently it's selected at reject duplicate we have multiple option reject duplicate will reject the duplicate option the next one is a reject duplication with the fiscal year and the third one is a accept duplicate which directly allow you to accept multiple duplicates and if you want to warn that user that you are entering the duplicate number but still want to allow us to proceed with it you can select the warn in case of duplicate so in this case system will warn you but also allow you to enter the duplicate number so currently I have accept duplicates save this option again try to receive this product receive same as a order quantity the save this time you can see that we didn't get any warning or error message for the duplicate product receipt so now I just click on the ok button so here you can see that we have received the multiple shipment with the same delivery note without any error in the finance and operation I want to mention that because we are discussing about the partial delivery scenario so this is very useful feature in the partial delivery scenario for some organization which allow us to enter the duplicate delivery note for the multiple shipments also we have received one more query from our viewer that how you can cancel this product receive after receiving the quantity so to in order to do that you just go to product receive inside journal we have product receive you can select this product receive here is an option to correct or cancel if you receive incorrect quantity you can also correct this quantity or as per your question you want to cancel this product receipt you can directly click on the cancel button this will cancel receipt all the line in this packing slip so you just click on the yes so by using this you can cancel this product receipt GRN so I hope your doubt is clear now so that's it for this video in our next episode as I mentioned we'll discuss about the under delivery and over delivery option which is very important for multiple under delivery and over delivery option we'll also discuss in the inventory level so make sure you watch this next episode so to get an update make sure you subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching